What we're trying to do is that we started off doing an adult carnival in July this year, in sorry October, and what we're trying to do is get the kids interested in life saving as a sport and water safety in general. So this is the start of that training them in some of the activities when we next have a carnival, trying to get the different tambons or the different areas getting together kids themselves and creating groups that learn water safety. Why did you choose here at Naihan in particular? So? We chose this beach because there's a lot of interest in this area already um, and we have people from the local schools that have been very supportive. So we chose this area but we intend to do Kamala next and other areas in Phuket as well. So how many kids are taking part and what ages and where from? I don't know the age, uh, the total number of kids that we have. We haven't checked the registration but we have kids uh, 5 to 7 competing. We have kids 8 to 11 or so and then 12 to 15. And there's quite a lot of kids have come along today. We saw the first events that was running on the beach. Obviously good fun, a bit like a school sports day. Uh, but uh, parents as well getting very excited as well as the kids. Everyone's getting very excited and really getting interested and that's one of the things we hope will encourage enthusiasm as, in life saving as a sport. And it's all just for fun, it's not serious. I mean there were a lot of full starts and uh, little little accidents but nothing nothing serious but it, it's generally good fun, right? It's good fun and it's healthy competition and it's a really good activity for kids and their families to do together. And you're all doing it free. I mean, you're providing it free all through, ah, what, through the Lemuridian and uh, other supporters? Yes, the Phuket yeah. Lifeguard Club is sponsoring the major okay. part and Lemuridian's given us a lot of support with equipment and different people and we're just doing it basically by ourselves um, and we're, in the future we might look for some support from the local tambons to provide lunch or other things. So that's what we hope for the future. The other race we're seeing here are the board races, the boogie boards or the body boards. This is more similar I suppose to actual life saving in the future but I know they're only young but uh, do you hope that perhaps this will sort of encourage them to go on a bit further, maybe join in your other training as well you do? Absolutely hope that it will have a flow on effect. The little E's are using boogie boards but the big kids are using proper rescue boards so they'll be competing like a lifeguard would in a lifeguard event. I mean it's great conditions today, I mean, it's fairly We're calm, lucky. small waves <laughs> but obviously life saving is usually when there's bigger waves. Would you, would you just try the sort of um, if we had bigger waves? What we'd do is we'd modify the activities to make it safe and if, if we thought there was any risk at all to the kids we wouldn't, we'd change some activities or keep them out completely. Safety is the, the number one priority for this event. We've also provided a lifeguard patrolled area for the kids that don't want to participate but they still want to have fun in a safe environment. Are you worried that there aren't seemingly sometimes enough lifeguards, especially say during the calm season? I mean, we, we do see them obviously the monsoon season, but sometimes very, very low key, very hiding away. <laughs> That's right, people can drown in any kind of condition, so we need to have lifeguards and properly trained people all the time on Phuket beaches.